Hey guys, I want to do a video today about Tampo and when Tampo strikes. Um, a lot of you new guys, you don't know, you're probably not familiar with Tampo, but Tampo is, is like the silent treatment back in the States. And over here, it's a cultural thing. It's, it's more prevalent and it's more prevalent in even more mature women sometimes too. But most of the younger women tend to use Tampo all the way up into like the 20s and 30s, sometimes even into the 40s, sometimes or, or more, depending on, on the maturity of the woman that you're with. <clears throat> and you know, it what happens is it causes it causes a problem where you you a conversation with the conversational flow. If you're having an argument, you can't communicate with her. You can't try to resolve the issue, and you usually don't find out what they're mad at you for because they're giving you the silent treatment. So it could be anything. And I'm not saying, you know, saying that the guy doesn't deserve the, the treatment sometimes because sometimes they do, let's face it. You know, I mean, it works both ways, you know, but in some cases you don't deserve it and you don't even know what the girl's mad at you for. And sometimes it, it can go on for weeks, you know, and it's just, it just becomes a mess. And on a, for us, from the United States, we look at it like like that person's very immature to do that because we're used to little kids doing it more so than adults doing it. Although it does happen in adults too, but it's less prevalent in the United States than it is in the Philippines, I think. Over here, it's cultural and some of it's maturity too. You know, it's, it's definitely a mature issue. But for us in the United States, we don't take too kindly to a woman giving us the silent treatment or tampo as it's called over here, because we just don't like it. We just don't want to put up with the, with the BS, you know, to put it bluntly. I mean, it's just the way it is. And a lot of times, like when that conversation, when that communication breaks down and it keeps breaking down and keeps breaking down because the woman keeps doing this, this tampo treatment, it just, causes for a breakup or whatever. So if you're married to this woman, this tampo thing could be costly. So if you see a woman that's giving you a lot of tampo, you might want to think about having like a long talk with her and wait a while before getting hitched or married or whatever, or in a long-term relationship. Because let me tell you, once this stuff starts, it doesn't usually stop right away sometimes. And you want to make sure that the woman learns to not do it anymore to you. And that she's willing to have a conversation with you when you are fighting or have an argument or what have you. So, and, and I, I hear this from a lot of Americans over here, they get the, they get the tampo treatment. Some guys love it. They love having like a week of silence around the house, but for the relationship, it's really, it can be really damaging, you know? And to the woman, she looks at it like, well, he's not, wow, he's not even trying to, you know, talk to me and look, he's smiling and stuff and it kills her more. So the relationship ends up getting worse. You know, I used to work as a therapeutic mentor <clears throat> for families. And, you know, when a kid in the family or anybody in the family, could even be the, 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 the mom in the family or whatever, would, would give somebody the silent treatment, whether the kids were given the silent treatment to the father or the mother or whatever, or, the, or the, the, the wife was giving it to the husband, it was damaging. Because there has to be that communication between people to solve issues. If you don't have that, then these, these things fester. And a lot of these these younger girls that these older um, expats are getting involved with, they're basically kids mentally. You know, like some of them are in their 20s, they're from the, their provinces. They have they lack education, they lack maturity, they, they, they lack a lot of things, you know, especially that emotional maturity, they lack it. So this, this, this tempo thing is more prevalent in some people than it is in others. If you grew up in the city or something, I don't think you're going to see as much tampo than you would from, from a provincial girl. Because the provincial girls, they, they a lot of them have left school in the third grade or fifth grade or seventh grade or eighth grade or whatever. And they never had a chance to really grow up. So now you, you have that added on top of this mess. And to talk to them, you might even have like a, a, a issue where they don't know English that well too. So with the tampo in the, in the English issue, it just makes it worse. So you guys that are thinking about coming over here, you guys got a lot to think about because if you don't find the, the right woman and you, and you don't think out your, your issues, you know, and your, 
and you come over here and you bring issues too and she's got her issues and she's immature or whatever. This, this is why I tell people you're better off with like an older woman or what have you. It's just, it just alleviates a lot of those problems. Not to say that all the problems are gone, but a lot of them do go away. You know, what I tell people is the younger you go, the more risk you have of ending up in a divorce or, you know, just ending that relationship. So a guy in his 50s or 60s going with a 20 year old girl, I mean, his risk goes way up here because of the maturity level and the differences between the two. So what happens is, it, but if you bring that up to like thir like the 30s or 40s, that that risk comes way down, and that's that's the safe part and the good part about all this, you know. So it's it's some, that's what I want to get you guys thinking about. So when you guys are getting involved with somebody, really, really rethink the, oh, I want a younger girl because I can have it over in the Philippines. Um, or I want a girl that looks like a 10. The girl that looks like a 10 has is the, are the ones that you're gonna have the most issues with for several reasons because number one, she knows probably that she looks like a 10. No, that's number one. Number two, she's gonna be looking for money because she can get anybody she wants. She looks like a 10, you know, and a lot of you guys are going after these girls and, and th that girl that, you know, the grass is always greener on somebody else's lawn until, until you have to pay for it. You know, I, I believe that's the way the, the, the saying goes, you know, if you if you wanna have green grass like that, you have to pay for it. And that, that girl who's a 10, she's probably emotionally, you know, not there. And maturity wise, she's pro probably not there either. You know, the, the only thing she's in love with is the wallet. And somebody had mentioned that in one of my other videos and, it, and it's really, really so true. But, you know, sometimes having the best looking girl on the block just isn't worth it. I'd rather have a girl that's halfway decent looking and have a girl that I can sit and have a conversation with every day versus, you know, having a girl I can't even talk to because she's just not there. Educationally, maturity, you know, and she's all into herself. So, you know, when you guys are, you know, think about this, guys, because a lot of the girls, are, also you got the scam issue. I mean, you throw that into the mix, it makes it even worse. So when you guys come over here, really, really find out the background of your girl. Make sure also about the, you can get into the money issue too. You know, girls asking for money. Make sure you lay down the law with these girls. You know, as soon as you, you, think you're going to get serious with a girl that you're not going to be throwing money at their family all the time it's okay to throw a little bit of money okay but you don't want her coming to you every day well my brother needs rice my sister needs money for you know whatever you, you just don't need that let them know that you'll you'll chip in a little bit sometimes or give her so much money per month and say hey listen this is your money you want to give it to your family you give it to your family but this is your money this is all you're getting every month and it's, it's a way to resolve it because that way there she has a little bit of spending money and she'll understand what it's like to be you. Because if she gives money to them, she doesn't have any money. Just like if you give money to them, you're not gonna have any money. So let her think of it that way and tell her that. Say, look, here's your money. If you wanna give money to them, then you don't have any money to spend for yourself to buy dresses and shoes and what, what have you. Just like when I give money to them, I don't have money to, you know, buy clothing for myself and look good and take care of myself and, and be halfway decent. You know, bring, just get them to understand that, you know. But anyway, guys, I, I wanted to throw that out there about the Tampo. I, I, I hope that helps. We've talked about this before. Um, Tampo is definitely a big subject over here among some expats because certain areas also, because of the cultural differences in, in each area, also have more Tampa. It's most mostly like in the in the in the deep provinces where you know there's a lack of education, things like that. Most of the girls from the cities here, they're pretty decent. They treat you pretty pretty good. And is I would say there's less Tampa. You know, girls that were raised in the cities, there's more maturity there. There's a lot more things going on there. They're more educated. They 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 work. I I highly recommend finding somebody that's older that works, and you'll be much better off versus finding a young girl that does, that's you know, fresh from the provinces, doesn't have a job, doesn't have an education. I mean, yeah, if you have enough money, that's fine. You know, but sometimes you're gonna have to put up with some of those maturity issues too, or lack of education issues. If you're okay with that, then that's that's fine. You know, but anyway, I just wanna have that discussion. God bless guys, take care.